Hello everybody and welcome to Morzak EV, a channel dedicated to all things electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging and all related technologies. Um, so today we've got another mystery package. Uh, well, it's not that mysterious because you can see who it's from. However, um, we've been waiting for this for a while. Um, so I thought I'd show you what's inside um, and then we'll get it on the wall and uh, we'll start trying it out. Okay, so what we've got in here is um, a beta testing version of the Omi charge point. So a lot of a lot of you will be familiar with the Omi charge point. Uh, it's really popular. I haven't looked inside the package yet. Um, just opened it up ready for the video. But um, yeah, it's a really popular charge point, and they're coming up with their version two. Um, we got this to test for a while um, as beta testers. So, um, yeah, we thought we'd give it a try, but obviously because this is way before the video comes out, because we're not allowed to show this video until they launch the product properly, bear in mind that you might see things on it that get modified because of, you know, the results of the beta testing. Um, yeah, what you see might not be the final product. This is a beta test product, but yeah, let's dive in and see what happens. Okay, this is quite exciting. <laughs> so, opening this out, so we've got, oh, oh, that's interesting. So, yeah, this is the new Omi. So to give you a, an idea of uh, size, it's similar in size, I would say, to the wall box. Maybe a touch bigger. Um, yeah, yeah, it's probably very, very similar in size. So, um, yeah, I see. So it looks like they've gone for a similar. Um, turn it over. So I've got some material on it as well, but I would say looking at it. It's very similar in concept to the existing Omi, e.g. Um, it's a sealed unit and we install it on the wall. Ah, okay. So, we've got a mounting bracket here, which we install on the wall. And then that screws, that locates on these screw holes on the Omi. So it looks like the Omi itself is a sealed unit, which just, um, which just gets put on the wall and then we set it up. So get these bits out. So as per the previous one, it looks like it comes with a, so it's got a one meter flying lead by the looks of it. And then a five meter tethered cable. So it fits very, very similar to the previous concept. Oh dear, little bugging. It wasn't very green, was it? So it looks like it comes with the same cable hook and the holster. Ah, what's this? So this looks like a CT clamp. So, and now because I've talked about this before with Omi, it now has the capability to do load management. So it looks like it comes with a flying lead on the CT clamp at the moment. Although I do know they're coming up with some sort of solution where this can be extended. So, right. So I can see what they've done here. So they've got the flying lead with the earth live and neutral and they're now in uh, British colours, not American colours. Big thumbs up. Speaking of thumbs up, make sure you give us a like on the video if you like the video. Subscribe and share on social media. 
So it looks like built into the flying lead is a little plug socket for the CT clamp as well. And that looks like it's IP rated um, with this uh, water seal. So you'll be able to um, put that on your mains incoming line. Plug that into there and do some kind of load management. So that's interesting, that's, that's nice. So the cable itself looks pretty familiar. Um, I'd say this is the same uh, five meter lead that's used on the current ones, but to be fair, uh, I've never had an issue with their cables. So, um, yeah, the cables themselves have always proven reliable, which I can't say about some other manufacturers. So, yeah, very interesting. So first thoughts, cool. So next thing you know, we'll get it on the wall and give it a test. So I've just uh, got everything set up, ready to film and it started hammering it down. I'm gonna try and push on because I've turned all the electric off and the consuming units exposed. Um, and we'll get the, the new army installed now. Um, and then maybe do the testing on that when it's uh, a bit nicer. So, Aomi do supply a set of uh, wall plugs and screws with every charger we've ever installed for them. But obviously, um, because this is going on wood, and we swap out different charges at different times. I'm just using some small screws that we've got. Okay, so I've already turned it on and done the testing, but I thought I'd show you the startup. So you can see, fancy new display. Very nice. Uh, it looks like there's some buttons across the bottom. Load balancing, enable, disable. Uh, so, Ah, okay, so what I've just done is set it to 32 amps. Um, low balancing. I haven't wired in the CT clamp at the moment. I intend to do that, so we can try that out. Cool, so it's got an installer test mode. Well, that's cool. So it's all very, uh, it's all a little bit different on the setup, which is interesting. It'd be, um, it's nice to have uh, few things to change on it and um, give you a bit of flexibility on the installation. Sorry about the water on the display. So at the moment it's obviously not set up. Um, I need to set up the app so we'll go through that and then um, yeah we'll start testing it out. So, as with the previous army, uh, it's got a SIM card built in, you get three years data with it. So that means, um, yeah, you, you, can, you don't need to worry about Wi-Fi, um, setting up a Wi-Fi or anything, because it just uses data via a SIM card and you get three years as standard. So I'll be doing a separate video on the app um, and how the army app works. It's slightly different to a lot of the other chargers. Um, but at the moment, I'm just setting up a schedule so it charges it to 80% uh, every morning. Great. So that's all set up. It's linked to the charge point. So we'll see how we get on. Okay, so it's ready to plug in. Ooh. 
Wow! Look at the display. It's all rainbows and everything. Very nice, Aomi. Very nice. So I've been using the army now for a couple of weeks. Um, and what I wanted to do was try it out and make sure, you know, there's a lot of users out there, um, people with octopus and things like that, who love the experience of the army and the way it works. And I wanted to make sure that was still relevant. And it is, um, the software works almost identical to uh, how it worked before. And I think that's now a bad thing because everybody likes the way it works, the way, you do the scheduling. We're going to do a separate video on how it works um, in the future, uh, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. So we'll do a demo on how the app works and how the software works. Um, but yeah, really happy with it. The unit itself is smaller. I think it's better looking, it's neater. You can do stuff on the display, which you couldn't do before. So that's all improvements over the original army. But at the same time, the app works just as well. Um, we've, uh, we've, we're have we on Octopus Go at the moment. Make sure you use our Octopus referral link. It's easy to install from an installer's perspective with the pen fault detection system. So yeah, overall, I'm very pleased with the new army, very happy with it. Um, and it should be a serious, uh, it should be a serious choice, especially if you're looking for a tethered charge point and you want a future proof against, um, you know, prices going up and not being able to make use of the cheaper night rate tariffs and variable tariffs that are available. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, give us a cheeky thumbs up on that like button. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Check us out on social media. Check out our Octopus referral code. Very important. And yeah, thanks very much for watching.